Hi Sosa, how are you doing? I'm fine, it doesn't hurt at all. And you? Uh, let's talk about the cemetery. You know the 8th floor cemetery? Yeah, who told you about it? Do you go there? Um, yeah, well, I was just walking around and I got lost. Nobody goes near that place, Pastor Mac. Seems our family members are buried there, the founders of the company. And that family has always been associated with witchcraft. Some of the company employees claim that she still lives in that cemetery. I wouldn't go near that place if I were you. Alright, let's talk about the children of the witch. Earlier, you were telling me something about the children of the witch. What are they? They're creatures in her service. You could say they're like her lieutenants. They run freely through the building, though if you've been in the company for some time, you can get to know which areas are the most dangerous. For example, on this very floor, there's that guy you saw in Office D, and at the archives, there's the spider. In the hive, you can normally see the girls of human resources, and the dot matrix. Dot matrix? They're the most dangerous. I recommend that you talk to Doshi on the third floor if you want information about them. But, where did they all come from? This company has been rolling from within past the night. Haven't you seen all that poisonous air spraying through the building? All the workers breathe it in, get infected, and end up transformed by her. But that stench has to come from somewhere. From a giant cauldron. She has a very large cauldron and does her experiments there. She immerses the workers she captures in this infected breeding ground and transforms them into her children. Uh, let's talk about Hugh. Hey, um, are you afraid of Hugh? Oh. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to be so blunt. Did he send you to ask me? Is he hiding? Listening to us? What? No, no, come on, I don't think he would. Wait, does he usually do that kind of thing? And much worse, Pasternak. Everybody's afraid of Hugo. He's been with the company for a long time, and he's been rising from the lowest floors. He has contacts on each floor and moves freely through the company. Haven't you seen the toe jumping around yet? Yeah, I have seen that. What's with the costume? Super Toe is his alter ego. He's supposed to be some kind of company superhero. But it's just an excuse to do what he likes without giving anyone any explanations. He's very smart, Pasternak. He always covers his back. In public, he's that funny, naughty fellow who's playing pranks on rookies. But when he disguises himself, he's totally uncontrollable and goes completely unpunished. Behind that mask, he can do anything that goes through his head. And believe me, he won't hesitate to pass over or go through whoever's between him and what he wants. But why is that? What does he want? I think he wants to be the next boss of the company. Please, Pasternak, if he finds out I've spoken to you, take it easy. I don't trust him a bit. I won't tell him anything. Alright. Have you seen any of the video club stereotypes yet? I've seen some of your shorts. Very mysterious. I didn't understand much though. It's best understood when you look at all the tapes. How many tapes are there? Ah, it's a mystery. <laughs> Great. Alright, Sosa. Well, okay. We know to see. Something in his drawer. Cat food. Why would Hugh have this here? Hmm. Pretty interesting, to say the least. I don't see anything useful here. Alright. Let's just grab some water before we head out. And this is not interesting. I don't know why I'm keeping it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go out. What's happening now? Oh. What are you on, Hugo? I don't trust you anymore. I mean, I didn't trust you at the beginning of the game. I actually said that you were probably the antagonist, but... Then you showed me that you were just a fellow who... was just crazy and liked to prank everyone, so I thought, okay, maybe he's just weird. And also, they've been saying that the witch is a her, so I don't think he will be the witch, but you never know. Let's just go talk to Doshi now. Hello, Doshi. Oh yeah, sure, sure, put it over there. What? Oh, hello. Hey, what's up, dude? Um, I came to see what you were doing around here. You're taking a stroll around the company, aren't you? Well, welcome to Electronic Garbage Paradise, buddy. Here, I fixed a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. Whoops. I also like to collect components for, well, modifying things or doing my experience. But hey, that's a secret. You work alone? No one helps you? Yeah, well, there used to be more between this and that, work-related accident, or the order of the day. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, perfectly. I don't have much work to do, usually. Around here, the crowd can tell a turned-on computer from a turned-off one, and I had many orders accumulated for years, and no one says a word, so I'm at my own business. 
This company is chaos. I don't know how it's still going. I have a theory that's gonna drive you crazy. Want me to tell you? Sure. First of all, get all that old witch stuff out of your head. We're old enough to go around believing in fairy tales. Hmm. Look, this is very simple. This company is a machine, and the parts that make it work are the employees and all that. You follow me? Uh, sorta. For example, imagine that the company is a printer that you have at home, and one day it prints out two sheets of paper together. Another day it means prints some data. The next day it's false paper, and the files you send it to print. Well, you know, the typical printer moves. Uh huh. You know that damn thing is freaking out. It's broken or something, and you tell your buddy Doshi to keep an eye on it and fix it for you. But dude, what if there's no owner? I don't think I'm getting you, man. If only the printer exists, who says it's broken? All the parts are working. They take paper, they print, they make work oddly, but they work. And that's what's happening to this company. It's broken, it's corrupt, but at the same time, it's still working. You follow me? How do you hold it up? Um... Well, while you're recovering from astral travel, let's get to the point, man. Besides being a philosopher and fixing things, I also sell some supplies. Want to see? Oh, of course. Oh, batteries. I sell these alkaline batteries of the highest quality for 100 beans. Hmm. I'm always fixing photocopiers, so I've collected a few ink cartridges. I can sell them to you for 150. Nice. Made rates, huh? <laughs> Finally, I have this wonder. This is art and technology fused together in the form of plastic tubes. They illuminate for hours. You can carry them in your hand or leave them on the floor and pick them up later. Very useful when you run out of batteries. They cost 125 beans each. But since you're new, I'll give you three so you can try them. You'll love them. Oh, thank you. They'll be great for when I'm trying to navigate each floor. There's so little light in this building. You go around the building a lot? Yeah, I'm always going back and forth. But do you just go for walks or do you search the drawers in the filing cabinets? Well, a little, yeah. Awesome. Well, then maybe you can help me. Let's just say I deal with other things besides what you can see here. I'm freaking out about a little jewelry I want to fix and well, I'm looking for pieces all over the building. If you give me one of those pieces, I could give you a good reward. Maybe I have some. What are they like? They're... Oh, yeah, I got one of those. Right. I think I found one of those things. Take a look at it. Yep. Sweet! Buddy, you really are dope. As a reward, let me see that little flashlight of yours. If I make a few changes here and there... Good to go. Now, you'll have a bigger and much cooler beam of light. Thank you. Thanks to you, dude. If you find more of those pieces, you know who to give them to. Alright. Let's talk about the dot matrix, because I really want to know about that. What are the dot matrices? Oh, I could talk about them for months. In short, they're matrix printers. Yeah, but... Let's see, if you're putting a gun to my head... You know anything about Centricor's history? Not much, actually. People forget it, but this company was a leading technology company in the 70s before they started to manage and speculate on data. In its day, the sixth floor was full of R&D projects, multifunction computers, photocopiers, printers, robotics, and even memory scanners. This crowd experimented with all kinds of stuff, but although they registered a handful of prototypes, it never went anywhere. Summarizing, my theory is that the dot matrix is a centricore experiment that went wrong. Gossips also say that they originated when one of the scientists who worked on them got his hand caught between the needles and, well, there's all of that is obvious. And do you know any tricks to avoid them? Those things are almost blind, but they feel the vibrations of your voice and the ground. Don't run away unless you have no choice. And another thing, those creepers are in love with ink. Don't forget to take some ink with you. An ink coverage, but use it if the dot matrix catches you, so they let you go and leave you alone for a while. Hmm, interesting. Alright, we got ourselves some stuff. Let's check it out. What's this? One use stick that provides color light for a long time. It can be left on the floor. Hold down E. We got this, which I don't know. I guess we're gonna find a giant cat. Hopefully not. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's... What should we go to? I just don't know. <laughs> let's just go to level 4. See how Kate is doing after that. Oh no! 
What happened here? Well, that guy is alive. Oh god. Yep, she she saw me. Oh god. No. Okay, 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 okay. How am I gonna talk to that guy if this demon keeps following me? What? There's no way to hide? There we go. We're safe. Just gonna have to go around. Oh, come on. That's not fair. No, there's two. I'm just gonna stay over here and hope that they look anytime soon because now, now there's three. Come on. Right, that one's going away. Ah, uh, we're good. Come on, run, run, run. Let's just talk to this guy real quick. What do you have to say? Dot. Dot. Oh, the dot matrix woke up. So that's what they were circling. Oh. Well, this is not. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like blue. It's pretty cool. Oh. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, you didn't see me. Come on. I just need to find Kate. Oh, we're gonna get out of here. Oh, great. Where's Kate gonna be? She left. Oh, no. In here. No one here. Nope. There's no one here. Go away. I don't understand. Is their face like a giant face, like a demon face? Or is it like a giant mouth? Because it kind of looks like a mouth as well. And their leader, well, the giant mouth, is a mouth. So I don't know if it's a demon or if it's a giant lips headed person. I guess we'll never know. Alright, well, there's nothing to see here. It seems so. Oh no. Well, good thing they can't get into the elevator. Otherwise, we will be dead. Oh! This is not a canteen. Oh! This dude is in trouble. What? Were you asking for help? What? What? Me? Please, man, please. Why don't you just go out there and rummage through the trash? Trying to concentrate on my work. Work? But what exactly are you doing here? It's none of your business. You're not moving, no stop, I don't understand what for. Of course, you don't understand, with your brain underdeveloped due to malnutrition. In any case, what difference does it make? There must have been some confusion, it's obvious this is not my place. Pretty soon, I'll be on the top floors of this building, higher than anyone else. Do you know which family I belong to? The family Chapman? No? <sighs> How could they drag my last name into the mud like this? Darn it, if my father saw me now. If you don't want to be here, why don't you change floors? Change floors? What a groundbreaking idea, but how could I do that? Uh, the elevator's right there. You think I'm a moron? I did the darn elevator's right there. You think I don't see it? Then will let me go, you douchebag. If I could, I wouldn't be here with the rabbits. Running around like a chicken without a head. The only way to get out of here is with that stupid game. What game? It's some kind of absurd test. If you manage to win, your badge is automatically upgraded and you can move up to the next floor. And you haven't tried yet? Me? <laughs> yeah, well... No. It's just that I'm not sure of the rules and you know what they say. Businessmen never participate in a game without knowing the rules. They are war, since you. Well, good luck with the game. I'll see you around. I guess... Oh. You see, I just had a brilliant idea. You could be in it for me, Pastor Mac. Well, I see you remember my name now. Come on, man, don't be like that. I'm sure that in the servers where you come from, you're used to playing these kinds of poor people's games. Excuse me? What do you say? Will you help me? Um, I mean, I could use 1k credits right now, but... I mean, I'm not like that. Or, yeah, I believe in redemption. Let's go. I'll help you. Alright, I'll participate in the game, but you owe me one. Pasternak, you may be from a miserable class, but you've already managed to earn something of incalculable value. My respect. What am I supposed to do? Alright. That's what you get into a game room. Uh, yeah. And I'm Mr. Chapman. <laughs> so, um, I'm Mr. Chapman? Okay, please come in, Mr. Chapman. Whoa. What is this? Welcome, Mr. Chapman. The test will begin immediately. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, what are the rules? What am I supposed to do? 
This is an autonomous system. It is the only judge of when you have or have not passed the test. I can only tell you that if you leave the line for more than 30 seconds, you will be disqualified. 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, so all I need to do is not get out from this circle? What? This is not hard? Um, I don't think I get this. Oh! Okay, okay, that one got, that one got me. Oh! No. No. Oh, this is such an easy game. How long do I have to stay here? Ah! Oh. I'm starting to think that maybe I should leave the line. And eat something. Some two slices of cheese and drink some water. Not good. Why is that guy running like really fast? Oh. No. 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 I don't think I get this game. I feel like I L. I feel like I should be doing something else. Something that's obvious, but I can't quite get. Yeah, I know. Yeah, win. Oh, the test is over. We announced that Mr. Chapman has failed the promotion test. We invite you to try again when you're better prepared. <laughs> well, um. I tried. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh. There's that guy. More dead people. Alright. Uh. Oh. I'm away. I will try again. Just for you. Yeah. This time I will get out of the line. Oh no. Hope I don't die. I should have saved before doing this. Look at where we go though? Well, they don't actually hit you right here. Okay, let's land for two seconds. One, two, three. This is over. Eh? Nope. Still failed. Well, I don't know, buddy. Say so you were going to help me. Yeah, but... <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. I don't understand. I mean, it's clear what, they, what they're doing here, but I don't understand. Let's just go into something else. It's probably the most boring episode. Okay, well, we know a bit of uh, the matrix. Also, I saw that someone was opening the door. Oh, oh, here you are. Pasternak, are you a man of flesh of blood? I am a man of blood. Ooh, I wait to see you turn into one when the time comes. Me, me, me! I'm a man of blood too, Malone. Shut up, stupid. Well, <laughs> it's not nice. Hi, Rostov. Right? Oh, hello, darling. How are you doing? How's your first day at work? Well, it could be better. I say you looked a bit lost in the motivational meeting. If you want, I'll give you the details on what's on our floor in no time. Living aside the zombies, you've got Sosa and Mappy. They're best friends, but they only talk to each other. I think they're a couple, because I'm sure this level of social exclusion can't be normal. Anyway, you already know Sosa. Mappy, since you ask, is even worse. And did you notice her face? There's something wrong with that girl's skin. Poor thing. Then we got the lizard over there, Malone. I think she's listening to you. Good. Did you know she used to be my friend? Well, I'll tell you about it another time. You try not to get close to her. Let's call him a dumb man. Also, you already have first-hand experience of him. He has the illusions of grandeur, but he actually has minor precision. I would say he's actually beneath us. And Hugo? Oh, Hugo, you know the worst of them all. He's a pig, a jerk, a prankster with no grace. But he's been with the company the longest. He was there before I got here, and so... If you have any problems, he's the one who knows the company best. And he's always willing to help. Look at this. I was having trouble sleeping and Hugo gave me these pills. A miracle cure. Wow. There are some big bags under your eyes. Do you want the pills? Mm, sure, why not? <laughs> Alright. 
things, they could come in handy, although I usually sleep like a log. Here, go on. You don't know what it's like to actually sleep until you try them. Speaking of Hugo, by the way, it's his birthday and we're throwing a surprise party in the canteen later. Oh, well, maybe I'll drop by, I'll see if I have the time. What? He's your office mate. You have to go, and more importantly, you have to help us prepare everything. You can't run away, honey. You've been warned. <laughs> okay. Nothing here. Grab more water, because it's free. I'm gonna take advantage of that. What's in the trash? Nothing. It's a financial article from May 1971 that someone has cut out. The swift and unexpected fluctuation of the shares of Centracorp, one of the most reliable companies of the last decade, has called in question the world's major stock. Experts predict that if the situation continues until the end of the year, the international community could enter into an unprecedented recession. Hmm. Dry noodles and one sheet of wish paper. All right. Can we get some parts from this? No, just batteries. How are you doing, buddy? Hello, how are you? I cannot. I said no, I'm sorry. But no, it's impossible. <laughs> Alright, if it's impossible for you to talk to me, then I won't risk it. I don't understand, how do you summon the... the goblin? It's a bonfire, but I don't see anyone around here. Hmm. Can I put some cheese? Oh wait, I don't have any cheese. If there is a fire, burn witch paper. Oh! I do have some witch paper left, right? Yeah. <coughs> oh. Who's there? I'm the one who likes to smoke as much as he likes cheese. I'm the one who was blinded. For staring at the sun, for touching the sun, for seeing the witch too many times. I'm the one who's invisible because you use the magic from the consumer driven society of a common folk. And how a madman that I was. Uh, you used to control obsessive and ambitious. Yeah, that was the one. Whoa! A creature with two bellies. Uh, so, hello? My name is Pasternak. Ah, pass, pass, uh, eh? I'm sorry, but who are you? Do you live here? Uh, not here. <laughs> You're invisible. And your eyes. Oh my, you don't have eyes. Y You're gonna kill me? <laughs> calm down, calm down, Karma. Mr. Pasties, you ask me a lot of questions like that. You look goofy. You have to take your life with a super spoonful of sugar. In these dark times, the human being is a slave to time. Everything is important. That's urgent. Run. Run. I catch you. Enjoy the moment, old friend. Like me, here under a tree with my cigar and a nice piece of cheese to while away the afternoon. The paradise of the yum yum. Now, if you say so, then say so. Who are you then? Now, well, I think I'm an employee of the mega corporation called Sintra Pork. I'm not really sure. I lost my memory a few months ago when I went completely mad. I don't remember my mother or my name either, but your fellow government officials call me the Forest Goblin, although I'm not a forest and this place isn't a real goblin. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? I mean, what do you do? I do magic with products. Magic. Yeah, with barcodes. What? When I removed myself from the office, I took refuge in this lonely garden and began to perceive the magic that surrounds the manufactured objects of our consumer society. As the old Etruscan no idea, proverb says, only when you walk away from the lights of the big city is when you can see the stars at night. That's a nice quote. Equally of different sizes, all the secrets of the products were revealed to me. The secrets of the products? Yes, in their barcodes. I don't understand anything you say. Magnificent! Then I, I will demonstrate what you're saying. Oh, demonstrate what you're saying, Mr. Pasting Punako. Me? But if you don't have any barcodes, or some Mr. Package, or some, or some Mr. Package, what? I, <laughs> some product you don't need. 
Well, I have an empty cereal box. Does that work? Aha! Alright, cereal boxes are super powerful. The most powerful breakfast. Well, above waffles and croissants. Let me look at this barcode a little bit. Aha! I see. This code corresponds to the magic of poisonous gas. What do you mean? That contract you see lying on the stone will allow you to breathe in toxic environments full of farts. I can make you a copy if you give me the witch paper as hostages. Ah, death has come. I almost forgot to tell you. I also said playing witch papers. I suppose you know them, don't you? I sell them for 10,000 credits each, even though I've got them reduced to 50k. So they would be a slice of cheese. <laughs> My cemetery. Do you know anything about that cemetery back there? It's where the witch lives. What? Is that true? No. No? No is. Please, this is important. I pushed the gate and I ordered a screen and I think I saw something or someone. Will she be the witch? I don't know. Well, make up your mind. <laughs> what? Is it true what they say that you saw the witch? I don't want to talk about it. Oops, sorry. I saw the witch eight times. <laughs> it always happened the same way. First, anxiety. You want to run away. And you don't know why. Second, the lights go out. And you feel the air thick around you. A weight on your shoulders. And third, the hiss that sticks like a, pin, like a pin in the ear. And a kiss. Kiss? Like someone's kissing your cheek. At first, I tried to hide or run like the others. Then I stopped. She didn't really want to kill me. She was torturing me. She always made the comrades around me disappear. She left me alive. Every time I saw her, it drove me crazier and crazier. I gouged out my eyes the last time she visited me, and I came to live here. I haven't seen her since then. And never knew who she was? No, if I knew I wouldn't forget, I always thought that I don't know that could be anyone. Can you explain the magic contracts to me again? Very easy, Pasta Kuneko. <laughs> what do you see? What do you see? A box of cookies lying on the floor? You're special, my friend. If you get barcodes, a special... I don't understand what you're saying, dude. Do you turn them into magic contracts? If you want to buy one, just go up to whisper your name in binary and spend some witch papers haunting it. No idea. Let me see this contract, though. A protection contract against poison gases costs you witch papers. You have signed protection contracts against poison gas. Oh, so now we can get to the other areas of the building. Because now we're able to breathe in the poisonous gas. Bye bye. Yep, this worked like a charm. Dead people. Oh god. What is that sound? Oh, I don't like that. I have no idea if I was supposed to do that, but I did it. <laughs> so these are all witches workers, right? Because they are all in the infected air. Okay. Let's see what's here. Oh, we're gonna need pencils. Ah! Oh, darn it. I didn't think I was getting close. Great, no pencils here. Do you have any consumables left? I have some water and the noodles, but I need to make them. No, don't use them. Good thing I can use them. I mean, there must be something important here, otherwise there wouldn't be any an ink cartridge. Right? I sacrificed my life for an ink cartridge. Oh no, I'm stuck. Come on. What? <laughs> Great. It always happens, doesn't it? First grace. I know this one. <laughs> Man, I should be a game tester. That way I can find the glitches. Guess I'm gonna have to end it here. <laughs> oh my. I, I really wanted to keep it going. I'm definitely not dragging this episode to make it 30 minutes. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, 
As always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.